It's the English Simmer here, and welcome back to The Sims 4 City Living Part 41. So, Harvey is here, like, daydreaming away because he is gonna get married today. It's finally happening. We are having the William and Harvey wedding of the century, and I'm very, very excited for it. So these two will be getting married, but first off, I actually want to make sure that everyone's kind of um, outfits are okay for a wedding. So testing sheets on, and then I'm going to shift click Harvey over here, and we're going to modify and create a sim, just because I want people kind of be to matching. Um, we aren't going to have like any specific going on however I feel like one has to be best man and um crystal has to be a bridesmaid along with like summer so maybe we'll like match like crystal and one up a little bit in like the colors that they wear but first let's head on to William so this is the one that he has which I actually really like his family does originate from India so I think I'm actually gonna keep him in this outfit I like the quite traditional sense of it and also like following his culture so I think I'm actually gonna keep William in that because I really like that side and then for Harvey so he is wearing white so I kind of want him to wear white as well so we are gonna this is a really nice top is this from city living which even which outfit even is this i don't know but um we are going to i think we'll go for white as well quite honestly because i really like the white let me check so we've got a white suit right here i think we're gonna go for it we're gonna go for an all white wedding well for the boys at least um we'll give him we will give him these shoes. So there we go. That's going to be Harvey's look for the wedding. And one, let's check out your formal outfits. Oh, I love this. I love how it's very um, colourful. I think we might go for that one for one. So we don't really need to do anything with him. And then Crystal, let's check your outfit. So one's kind of in like an orangey outfit so maybe we'll pick like this dress in an orange if there is one uh there's not really an orange one but there's this which kind of goes with like what one is wearing not really but i kind of really love this on crystal so i think we're gonna keep her in this dress because it's adorable and then little baby what have you got going on oh she's dressed in white and blue as well she's already fine then because <laughs> Obviously, her dads are dressed in white, so she's going to be dressed in white too. She is so cute. Yeah. So that's pretty much everyone. I really didn't have to do much with those guys whatsoever. Um, so I don't actually know when we'll be throwing the wedding. I probably will wait a little bit. I think I have already got them proposed. I am fairly sure. From what I can remember, those two have already become engaged. So hopefully that is the case. Let me check. Uh, is he your fiance? He should be. He should be. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, they're engaged. Okay, cool. So they are engaged to wed. We probably will throw it around 12 p.m. You don't need to go back to sleep now. Everyone's kind of awake. So nobody needs to go back to sleep. Why don't we all you know what we're gonna have we're gonna have one actually we're gonna have crystal because she's the best cook i think uh we're gonna have her serve a breakfast for everyone we will make we'll make eggs benedict for everyone that's quite quite fancy don't eat i don't want anyone to eat what's toddler doing why is she feeling happy comforting light oh that's quite cute and one can you set the table with a fancy setting we are gonna go for triangles because i quite like that one so he's gonna do that then you can definitely use the toilet because you really need to does anyone else need to do anything you can use this and just take a shower just to get you ready for the day you mister can use this toilet over here and you also need to take a shower baby you need to go potty Crystal, are you gonna... 
Nope, you're just not making it. Okay. Uh, serve breakfast, eggs benedict. Stop eating spaghetti. Put it away. Put the garlic noodles away, dairy. And then get out the eggs benedict. There we go. She should be doing that. She is going to go potty. And then let me open this up. Is there anything that the kid can eat? She can eat eggs and toast. Go for it. She can grab a serving of this. Don't eat. Can you all stop it? I'm trying to wait for Crystal to be ready, okay? So can you all stop trying to eat, please? Go take a bath. Or just do something to, like, invest your time in while she's trying to cook. <laughs> I'll just try and, like, completely distract them all. I think she should be done soon anyway. She's, like, really quick at cooking. There we go. She's sorted. So she reached level seven of the gourmet cooking skill and we are going to call to meal, hopefully. Oh, this looks good. Okay, everyone go grab something to eat. No, grab a, grab a serving. Is she sitting at the table? Oh, hell yeah, she is. Okay, cool. And we have our placemat set up as well. Uh, why is no one grabbing a serving? We like offered you all to sit down and no one's doing it. Hopefully she's just gonna grab her own plate as well of this. But everyone, oh, can you eat eggs? Is this vegetarian safe? No, 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 I don't think it is. No, it doesn't say vegetarian safe. So you're gonna grab a serving of that. Oh, good job I thought of one there. Mister, you were almost eating something that wasn't vegetarian safe. I mean, it's not like I haven't done that through the rest of this Let's Play, but at least we saved that one. So here we go, we're having, oh, Will and Harvey aren't even like sat close to one another. Boys, you were meant to sit close so we could at least talk. Um, let's... Oh, okay. Uh, she reached movement level two. Crystal's done already. Crystal just absolutely destroyed that meal. So we do need to start getting everyone ready for the wedding so that all their needs are up and good to go. He's good to go. He's going to finish up and then he should be good to go. Baby just needs to eat and then she'll be fine. I didn't even know that attention was a thing. Toddlers need more attention than all the Sims. So that's like their social, I think. And one has finished as well. So everyone's finished eating up. How's one's needs? He needs to kind of go for a shower. So I will have him go for a quick shower in the boys' bathroom. Go quickly, take one over here. I feel like everyone's good. Well, those two are definitely good. She just needs to eat and she'll be fine, I think. Um, and it is getting to almost... Oh, look, she's like proper sat on the edge. She's so cute. I love her. I think everyone's pretty much ready. And like I said, it is getting to the time where we can actually throw the wedding. Where's she going to? Your hunger isn't fully up. You're just going to sit down there. Oh, so you can watch TV. <laughs> I like how she full on moves, so you're so freaking lazy. Actually, that's not lazy, but that's just funny because she couldn't see the TV from there because the sofas are a bit too far back. So she literally just moved herself to where she could watch the TV. Oh my God, you little cutie pie. So adorable. Okay, so everyone looks like they're ready. Hello, I'm contacting you. Uh, yes, okay, I'll take the free earbuds. I will take anything free, to be fair. I mean, this... This family has the most household funds I think I've ever had in a Sims 4 uh, family just because they all are like really high up in their careers and the city living careers pay super well. Uh, tip there if you want good paying careers. These pay pretty damn well. But yeah, I don't think I've ever had that much money saved up in a Sims 4 family like ever before. So it's quite nice to have that money in the bank. Um, but what we are going to do is actually... Da -da -da -da, where is that? How do we actually plan a social event? There we go. I was like, how do we plan a wedding again? It's been a while since I've had a wedding in The Sims 4. Oh, and one's just making himself a drink. Of course he is. All right, so plan social event. It is going to be a wedding. We will go for a prestige event. Oh, we need to make a cake first though. Oh, snap. Good job I thought of that. Uh, so let's... 
we will cook. Where is? Where are the cakes? Can she make a tid cake? She can make a blue confetti cake. Uh, oh, she actually isn't that high in the cooking scale. I thought she was higher than that. I genuinely thought she was. We will go for a strawberry cake. I feel like our guests will like strawberry cake. So let's quickly get a cake done just so they can actually like cook, cut into it. I wish you could just buy cakes like you could in The Sims 3. I don't think you can do that in The Sims 4. I don't think there is a cake available to buy. I guess you could just like spawn one in through debug, but you can't physically buy one in like the non-hidden category. So you do have to bake a cake before every wedding that you throw, but we will throw the wedding after we've got this done. Hopefully it won't take Crystal too long to do. I mean, she's already on it and she is gleaming. I think we have the, um, I think one of you guys said this was a yeah, so this is the chef's kitchen. So the sparkles that she gets means that our, what's it called, lot trait is actually at work. We don't have anything else though. We should probably get child play so that like the kid learns quicker. And that's fine. We'll just leave it at that for now. So there we go. She's going to pop that in the oven, hopefully. Bake, 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 bake. Get baked for 20, hopefully. There we go done okay cake sorted we will stick that in harvey's inventory and then we will plan a social event take two this time because we already tried it once and it failed my eyes are so tired at the moment i don't know why i don't know why i'm feeling so tired because i mean i slept till nine but i think i was in one of those really deep sleeps so when my alarm went off i literally dreamt of an alarm going off and didn't actually realize it was mine until like a good two minutes into my alarm right we are gonna go for a wedding it's gonna be a prestige event the bride or groom, obviously, we got the two grooms. Then the guests are obviously going to be our fam. We will invite Salim. You know what? We'll go for it. Masato can come. Obviously, Alexander. Oh my god, Bella. What the frick are you wearing? This towny glitch, man. I'm sick of it. Obviously, our family have to come. Summer can come. Uh, then who else do I want to join? Should we invite Eve? Sure, let's rub it in her face. We found happiness and you didn't, haha. -ha. <laughs> we'll invite the Fengs because they've been quite good with us. Um, and who else? Nancy? I mean, not Eliza. Don't want Eliza there. And we'll invite Miko as well. I think that's all I want to invite. We'll invite... Oh, we can't invite... Right, get rid of Miko because she's kind of meh. Right, there we go. That's going to be our guest list. The caterer, sure, we'll hire a caterer. Uh, mixologist, sure, we'll hire a mixologist. And a musician, I don't think we need one, but let's leave it at that. And then we are going to go to this one. So this is actually the park in San Myshuno. However, Lil Simsy did like a remake of it. So I downloaded hers in and then just added in like a couple of extra items that I felt it was missing. So we are going to have the wedding here because there's already like a wedding layout and stuff like that. So I'm very excited that my two little babies are going to be married. <gasps> we didn't invite, what's his face? Diego. I want Diego to be her date. Maybe we should just like invite him off the cuff as like Crystal because I definitely want Crystal to have a date for the wedding as well, which is kind of out of Crystal's comfort zone. Like she isn't flirty and she doesn't particularly like PDA or anything of that nature. So it is a little bit out of her comfort zone for herself, but I feel like, you know, with these two, oh, and we got bills to pay. A cake needs uh, a cake is needed and a wedding arch. Well, it's a good damn job we have both. Um, so this is like the little wedding area. Uh, I think. Oh, okay. Oh my god. She, Kayla, you literally thought of everything. You've like even got a place for the cake to go. So we are gonna put that on here. Oh, it's just gonna hover. Apparently, that's fine. It can stay hovering. And I think that's all we need out. We do have an arch, obviously. 
So we can fantasise about wedding or get married to William Kapoor. Um, is everyone, no one's wearing like what I wanted them to wear. So let's, let's change our outfits up boys. Let's go for your white one, wherever it may be. There we go, you're gonna wear that. William, you are going to uh, outfits, change outfit. You are gonna go for this one. One, you, my friend, are going to change your outfit into this one. And Crystal, you are going to change your outfit into... <laughs> where is it? Uh, this one, hopefully. Oh god, we're wearing the same dress as Lily Feng. Is our kid here as well? Oh yeah, she's already wearing what I wanted her to wear. So there we go, everyone's sorted. So we need to have drinks, have guests watch the ceremony and talk to guests for two hours, which we will definitely do. I think we'll just be doing that in like general. Uh, hire staff, can we hire a, we'll go for a DJ headliner, we'll go all out. Is there a mixologist as well? Hire a mixologist too. Hopefully they will all arrive. Where is everyone going? What are you all doing? Why are you going upstairs? Seriously, where are you all off to? Can everyone just go dance? Ah! What's going on? Okay, he's speaking to Alexander, which is fine. He can do that. Oh, our sister's here as well. So let's thank her for coming. And, oh, we're running away from her. Of course we are. <laughs> Blummin' heck, what is going on? This place is a little bit, like, too big to have a wedding, in a sense. Because it's, like, huge. Um, but hopefully the mixologist will come soon as well. That would be quite nice if they could appear so that everyone could stop going upstairs. I mean, upstairs is quite nice because it's quite secluded and it's quite small. So maybe it's a good thing that everyone's heading upstairs. Maybe that is a good thing. Two hours. How has it already been two hours already? Right, we need to flirt with each other three times. So we're gonna... Oh, oh no! Not one, whew, that was a close one. Jeez, I didn't even realize that I was on one. Um, let's flirt, we will also express our fondness and we will also romance, we will compliment his appearance. William's looking good, he is looking fine. So let's do that. Okay, the mixologist apparently doesn't wanna come. So that's perfectly okay. Crystal's here painting a picture, talking to Alex and Hannah, which is quite nice, the fact that she's like in, like talking to Harvey's son and also his sister. That's very nice. Let's give a cheerful introduction to her. And I think we're just gonna get like the actual marriage on the go. Um, so let's go sit here. Amelia can sit next to Auntie Crystal. One can sit here. Oh no, we didn't invite Diego. Do, 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 do. Um, invite to hang out a current lot. Diego. Quickly do that. Hopefully he will come. I don't know whether he will or not. Diego will be right over. Okay, nice. Does that mean we can join a group with him? Oh, Masato's arrived. Uh oh, we need to ask him just to be friends. I think we already are, to be fair. I don't know whether Diego will come or not. We can shout forbidden words at Masato. We aren't gonna do that. Like, I still do see him as a good friend for Crystal. So, we aren't gonna do that. Um, but Amelia's just making her way on over. And we're gonna go here. And also, Will. You should go here too, so that we can get this wedding going. I don't think Diego is going to show. Normally when I ask someone to this park, I genuinely have no idea where they spawn in. I think it's here, but I don't know if he'll even like come on over or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Isn't this where we proposed as well? So it's kind of like we're getting like married and like proposed in the same place. It's quite, it's quite adorable if you ask me. Oh, she's still making her way over. Hurry up. I definitely want our kid to be like in the front row for our wedding. So hopefully she'll get there quickly and we can actually start 
Right, should we just... Oh, Will, seriously, you're just going to pull out a triceratops? Right, let's get married to William because she's here now. So hopefully she'll sit down and, like, stay there. Has Diego arrived yet? I don't think he has. Nope, that's our dad. Awkward. <laughs> no, not from what I can see. But here we go. Everyone, get your asses over here. Oh, they're all just going to stand around, aren't they? Why don't they sit down for weddings? It's quite confusing, like I don't really understand why they all just like stand around and don't sit down. I'll never really understand it though, let's be real. Oh look at them, both in their white suits, they're both looking really, really good. Oh, my little babies. Come on. Is everyone around? I don't want to zoom out because I actually have like the perfect screenshot shot right now. So I kind of don't want to see someone better not stand in front of me. There we go. Will's got his ring on his finger. Woo. That's it. Yes, boys. Oh, and there's fireworks going off and everything. Look, there's so many fireworks going off. What fireworks are they? They're like little love hearts. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. We got married. Whoop, whoop. They're like full on like love heart ones. Yes. So we are married right now. Um, Take first slice. Whoa, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> I want to take the first slice. Um, add a wedding topper. Oh, we probably should have done that beforehand. All right, let's add in that wedding topper, hopefully. Yeah, the toddler's fine. The toddler's fine. Why can't you add the wedding topper? Oh, there we go. She did it. Uh, cut wedding cake. Where's Will? Will's gone straight over to the freaking basketball pitch. And has changed out of his wedding outfit into his freaking... What's it called? Um, his freaking athletic wear. So Harvey's just gonna cut the slice himself, I think. Yep. He's just full on cutting it. Oh, there we go. Now she's singing to us. Oh, you're celebrating your own wedding in your athletic outfit. Can we not? Can we please get changed? Blooming neck. Oh man, I'm gonna miss like, oh, seriously, you had to be wearing your athletic gear for that. William, what are you doing? He's just so chilled out that that's how he does things around here. Right, get back changed. There we go, formal wear. That's what I like to see. I can't believe I just missed like the perfect screenshot opportunity because Will was in his athletic gear. Blooming heck. What are you guys like? Can we all go dance? Is that a thing that could happen? The heat DJ hasn't arrived, like, at all. So let's put on some pop. And we'll go... We'll go... Dance battle? I kind of want to add everyone to a group so that we can, like, fully dance. So let's... Let's quickly do this. Also, guys, before we start this, look who is... Um, we are going to dance together. Look who's chatting over here. Eve has found a new man in Salim. They are like the least likely couple I could have like ever possibly imagined. Yet they're getting on really well together. That is legit like the most random thing I've ever seen. Go on Eve. I mean, you're a bitch and I kind of don't like you, but the fact that you're like going for Salim, who I completely honestly thought would be out well you would be out of his league i'm impressed what's the baba doing she's going to hug this big thing uh can she dance i don't think she can no bless her she can't i mean i suppose she could why can't she dance let's ask oh we can only ask people in our household for dance help and they're all dancing with each other so i kind of don't want to do that we're gonna dance a little bit. And then I do have like a spa place for the boys to visit for like their honeymoon. But I think I'll do that in the next part because this part's already been like 20-ish minutes. So I kind of don't want to do that just now. William's like proper going for it. I wish we had slow dance in The Sims 4. 
I wish it was a thing for weddings. Like, I probably wouldn't ever use it apart from weddings or like at like romantic dates or something like that, like in lounges. But I wish we had it all the same because it would actually be really nice for this kind of stuff. Like if they could have their first dance together. Because right now they're all just like bopping to like the pot pits, which is fine. I mean, that's pretty much what happens at weddings anyway. I mean, any of the weddings that I've been to, we love a little bit of cheesy pop here in the UK. So I can't blame them, but it would also be nice to have like quite a romantic first dance. She's just gonna take herself off and like hug this big dinosaur. She's so cute. Oh, and she needs to use her diaper, which is fine. Let, let loose in that diaper. I mean, you are wearing a white dress, which is quite concerning, but I hope you'll be all right. I mean, you didn't follow through, so that's all good. Good job, toddler. You did well. Oh, that really hurt. I was basically, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen my tweets complaining about this. But I've been cleaning my desk today. My room needs a desperate, like, big clean. But I was just, like, clearing my desk. So I had, like, a clear workspace. And as I was dusting, I, like, cracked my hand into the corner of my keyboard. And it's, like, now all red here. And, like, super swollen and bruised. And it really hurts to, like, move my thumb. I've broken this bone before. I don't think it's broken. I think I probably just bruised it. But that's, like, one of the hardest bones to break in your body it's called like the scaphoid and i broke it and my doctor was like how the hell have you managed that because that is like it's so hard to break and i'm impressed you even managed it so there's a quick little story for you guys but i'm gonna end this wedding here i mean the main thing is we got them married it was very cute and they make an amazing couple let's be real they're gonna be great dads to amelia and i just love them together so next part probably will be the honeymoon and then we have three parts after that to kind of like round up this let's play which is crazy but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed leave your comments down below of what you'd like to see in like the roundup episodes and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!